Hey, it's Big T. Today I am going to tie for you a black stone fly. I call the shaggy stone. Start out with a size 14 jig hook and a 3 millimeter black nickel tungsten bead and 70 denier black thread. That's a Danville. Uh, I'm going to tie in a couple of goose biots for the tails. Biots generally have a curvature to them, so I want it to curve out. And it's going to be about a third of the length of the hook shank that I tie the bite in, leaving that third exposed in the back. Hopefully that's my phone with somebody texting me who wants to meet and go fish right now. Be a lot of people. Trim off the ends. Then I'm going to wrap that thread back up to the top. And that again to add a little bit of bulk to make up for the area that I did not have those biots tied in. Next thing I'm going to do is take uh, some black. This is standard tubing. The stretch tubing is a great material. Tie it in behind the bead and then as I wrap backwards I'm going to pull and stretch that so it lays thin on the hook shank and tie that back to where you end of the or the tails start from the hook shank and then I'm gonna come in and actually wrap stretching a little bit more at first and then releasing some of the tension as I go up that naturally will create a taper and secure that in with some thread wraps behind and in front of that and then stretch before I trim that off. Come in with a little bit of scud back. This is eighth inch black scud back that I will tie in right behind the bead. And tie that back down about a quarter of the length of the hook, hook shank. I'm now going to take a little bit. This is just a zonker strip that I had left over. Take a little bit of this black rabbit fur. And to that, I'm going to cut it in half, keep it a shorter length. To that, I'm going to add in my hand some of this Senyo Shaggy Dub. It's really fine rubberized material. And I'm going to cut some of those up as well and just hand mix that in with my rabbit to make a little blend. The Senyo's Shaggy Dub on its own does not dub well on your thread, but if you I find if you put a little rabbit in there with it, it has a tendency to hold better. You can actually hear the snapping of those rubber now this is going to be big and bulky initially. We're going to pick that out and trim it up as we go. I'm going to come over with my, bring that scud back, back over top and secure that. And then we're going to go ahead and trim that. I'm going to use 
my whip finisher. We'll go ahead and whip finish this puppy. And I'll do a couple. Make sure I've got that secure. Normally I use Zappa Gap on my thread. However, <laughs> the top is not wanting to come off this second. I don't want to sit here and struggle. So, got some uh, pieces of the shaggy dub that are too long that I want to trim up. But before I do that, I want to see if I can pull some other stuff out of there. So I'm trimming everything at once. These are gonna look nice like the little legs of the stonefly and add some movement. Even have one coming out up top that could be confused for an antenna. And I'm just gonna leave all those as is. What happens is we try and get everything perfected and then our flies get in currents and all our little legs start moving around doing different things. So that's it. Little black stone. Call it the shaggy stone. You can tie that obviously in a multitude of colors. Yet another use for our tubing as a material. And in addition to that, uh, a good way to, to use that Senyo shaggy dub very effective material as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and also visit my store to purchase these materials and more.